How's it going, Keegan? Uh, much better. Obviously happy that um, I'm back to full fitness. Um, no small injuries, no pain. You know, so I'm, I'm happy that I'm back with the team. Um, I feel like I had a good preseason, and um, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm prepared for, for, for the season coming up. And you look quite in a good mood on yeah. the training pitch. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think uh, it's been a while since I felt uh, this good. Uh, I mean, physical-wise, um, I feel much lighter. I feel much quicker. I think uh, throughout last season, um, I had many problems, little injuries that was, was affecting me. So um, I always felt a bit too slow, a bit too heavy. And I think um, with all the rest that I got off, um, off season, and um, you know, coming back uh, to preseason fully healed um, really, really helped me a lot. And um, like I said, I had a good preseason. I'm, uh, I feel good about myself, and yeah, I'm in the mood to play. You think you sent a reminder to the coach and the fans of what you can do with the with the few minutes you placed against Ren? Yeah, I think um, uh, I did quite well. Uh, although um, I would have loved the team to 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 get the three points, but I believe that. Uh, we played well as a team, uh, we got a few chances that we, we, we didn't take and uh, that's how the game goes, you know, if you don't score your goals uh, it's a bit difficult to win but I think um, it was a good first, first game for us, we can take a lot from it and for me personally I'm just happy that I could come back after so long, you know, I haven't played in front of our supporters and uh, mm -hmm. I had a feeling that they, they kind of forgot about me but I think the few minutes that I got kind of reminded them that uh, I'm still here and what I'm capable of and hopefully um, Throughout the season, I can continue doing that and, you know, just, just grow and, and, and become a better player. What a shame, that strike on the post, you, you thought the, that was going in at the moment? Yeah, um, I didn't really see because there was a defender in front of me, so I kept on trying to look, but uh, I saw the replay and uh, after the match, the goalkeeper spoke to me, he told me that he touched the ball. So I think uh, if he didn't touch it, uh, it would have gone in. So you said uh, you're quite in good shape. You you looked in a good, very yeah. good shape against Ren, and with a lot of commitment. Yeah, um, you know the confidence is mm. is getting back. Um, I feel like I said I feel like my normal self again. Through through the past, uh, I think, 12 months, it was a bit difficult for me. You know, um, I wasn't myself uh, as a player, as a person. I was struggling, and. Uh, I think, uh, like I said, with the rest and the treatment that I got from uh, our physios here at the team and my physio back at home, um, I, feel, I feel good, I feel energetic, I feel like I have confidence and like I said, I'm ready for the season and hopefully I can continue doing so and you know, just giving my all to the team because I feel like I, I owe it to them because um, last season I didn't play as much and I just think that this season I need to work hard for the team and, and stay in good shape so I can help the team. So we had a glimpse of your skills, but as you said, some injuries did not, did not let you show us more yeah. so far. Is the physical part of our football in France the most difficult to cope with? I don't think it's, it's, it's difficult to cope with. Mm. You know, I just feel like um, with me and traveling back to South Africa for the selection and coming here, it was always a problem, you know, because uh, uh, the long flights going to the national team and coming back here. But I feel like uh, with with no big tournaments in with the selection now. I'll, I'll focus more on, on, on Montpellier, you know, and uh, I feel like uh, I was prepared for this, you know. I, I just felt like um, it wasn't my season last season. Uh, there was a, a small problem that I didn't know what happened after the first big injury against Strasbourg. Um, after that, I just got little injuries after one another, so I think um, I can cope quite well this season. So what makes you hanging on to your dream to succeed in Europe? I think, uh, like I said, uh, through through I've been here two years in Montpellier. Uh, I haven't been playing as much as I want, and I feel like um, this is my season to do well for the team. You know, to 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 show them that I, I appreciate what they they've done for me. You know, giving me the opportunity, and I feel like um, the supporters deserves it as well. You know, um, they haven't really seen me play, and I feel like. Uh, I have a lot to prove and also for me it's, it's, it's to encourage other youngsters from South Africa to show them that it's possible to play in Europe, you know, and for me um, it's, it's what I always wanted to do, play in Europe and I'll never stop working hard to, to achieve that. It's important to have friends 
in the team. Uh, you, uh, it's no secret you you look close to Bobo. Yeah. Ambroise. <laughs> yeah. Um, Bobo is one of my close friends in the team. Uh, he's a crazy guy, and I think also um, the fact that he played in America, he speaks English very well. So that's one of the the main reasons why we we click together. And also he's from Africa, you know, so we can relate on on many things. So yeah, he's my he's my homie. But I have I have uh, many friends, you know, that that we have, like I said, I've been here two years now, and I've made uh, a lot of friends in the team and. I'm just feeling at home now. So what after two years, what do you think about French football, French life and uh, all the things you, you discovered coming in Montpellier? No, I, I, Montpellier is a beautiful city. Uh, we have a great team here. You know, uh, uh, we have great supporters. Um, the city itself, it's, it's, it's wonderful. It's, it's not much different to South Africa in terms of weather, you know, and yeah, um, I think I got quite used to the language now I can get around I can understand what people are, are trying to talk to me about and yeah I'm just enjoying the football I don't think it's much different to, to, to South Africa just a bit uh, the intensity is high you know and like I said I've got I've gotten used to that but overall um, so far so good I'm, I love being in France I love being in Montpellier and um, I'm enjoying my stay So do you think it's up for grabs now with injuries of other players and that now you're you're in a good shape. Look, um, it's not it's not good to 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 have an injury, and I feel sorry for the other mm. players that that's going through it because I've been there throughout last season, you know. But I mean, if the opportunity comes to me, I'll take it with both hands. I'm working hard at training. I, like I said, I feel good, and if the coach gives me opportunity, I'll do my best to 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 deliver and and make make everyone proud. And score other goals like yes. in Nanta. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I think um, <laughs> this season I need to try and score a few more goals, and also try to you know get more assists because uh, in the position I play, I need to I need to start going forward and uh, you know create more chances for the team. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Good.